Hi guys, welcome back to Karamia's Corner. I'm back with a project share and today I'm going to do a flip through of my first ever little golden book junk journal here. Also going to share a haul of this stash of little golden books that I got from Half Price Books. But before we do that, let's have a look and see what we have here. Comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know which is your favorite little golden book. I have a collection, a small collection of Precious Moments books, and I was completely inspired by my dear friend Sandra when I saw her little golden book. It's so wonderful to use a favorite book such as this and repurpose it as a journal and keep it as a keepsake for memories that you cherish. So in my case, Easter or spring break is a big deal. It's a time for me and my family to get together, take a break from work and from school and enjoy family time. So I'm, I thought this would be a perfect journal to keep all those great memories in. So for the spine, I was watching some tutorials online and the one I liked the most was Grammy's Keepsakes. She was really straightforward and she showed you the dimensions. So if you'd like to see that, I'll put the link in the description box below. In terms of attaching this fabric on our backing and the book covers itself, I saw a great tutorial, again, recommendation by Pink Paper Peppermint, I think is the name of the channel. She is super awesome. I love her channel. So you check that out. And so here we have a fabric little spine here. I only have two signatures. I didn't want to over do it because I am still going to stuff it with some pictures and embellishments and I embellish the stitching here on the signatures with some cute little beads. This is a ribbon my friend Sandra had given to me in the embellishment box that we had traded. Some of these beads are also from my dear crafty friend Dolly Crafty Mermaid Mom here on YouTube. So this is what that looks like. Here is some uh, trim, a stitch trim, and I thought the color, the cream color and the blue went well with the book. So let's have a quick look through. Here is our opening page and I put this little cute library card. It says hello. I might embellish this a little bit more. For some of the papers, I used some of my remnant papers from last Easter's and this was from Authentique, so I love this. It says uh, Easter Parade music sheet here. I put on some lace and I love this sheet because it is double-sided, so I like that. And we have another one. I don't remember what the name of the pad is, but I will uh, let you know if you'd like to. I love this. I love foxes. We have the fox. It has that spring theme too. And this floral sheet here. And the book is in order, so here is the cover page. Look how cute. The illustrations are just really beautiful. I like this. Look at that bunny, the girl with her basket full of eggs. Did some stitching here, just trying it out. And then we have another page. I created a little tuck pocket here. And this is the same paper from that authentic paper pad. More cute pages from the book. Now here's one's a little tab and I used a circle die that had a stitch little piece here. So we have a little tuck there. And of course I will be decorating as I go. I love these pages. So here we have our little marker over here. Used a floral die here, a punch. The word Easter's here and I put an epoxy sticker to add dimension to it. She's so cute. Next page, so this is the middle of our signature. I think I have about 60 pages all in all. Look how cool that is. And then here, this piece was part of the top of one of the pages and I like the saying here, so I wanted to add that to the page. It speaks about spring and nature. And then we have another one, I like the blues. You see some birds there. Over here, I put some pearl trim in the pocket. We have a couple of these journal cards. Another page for pictures. I love this picture and her kind of looking into the horizon or on a flower field. So I decided to put this sheet here. Love the yellow and the plaid. So that's the first 
signature. Here's the second one. So this was from an old Easter card that was given to me last year. I love foxes. I love the texture on the card. And you have these cute bunny and little hedgehog or porcupine, a hedgehog. So when you turn the page, I created a little folder. So we have these journal cards, a little cute tuck here with our doily. And then we have, I love this mint page here. So it says, Heaven's Gentle Showers Helps Easter Flowers Grow. And I like the umbrella uh, page here. Matched her look. And then we have one with like cute little blue and white colors with the white raindrops. Love this page. And then this one was from a recollection sheet. And just like that it looks old and vintage -y. over here. Beautiful page again. I like the spring feeling to it, the blues and the pinks and whites. And then I have a cute little tag here with a ribbon pull. I just used a staple to attach it. And then we have a cute little tuck here. So you can go like that. Or you can put your little card this way. Now over here, just wanted to show you to hide the stitching on the spine, I created a little cute pocket so you don't see the stitching. And this is feels like fabric, but it's actually paper. and have a paper stash that I'd ordered from Amazon, and I like it. It's like a paper mache type feel here. And then we have another pocket here. Probably going to put some scrapbooking paper here on the white. This is that sheet and then we have our final pages how cute and then we have another pocket here with the folder so that's what my little golden book looks like so i hope you like it i'm going to show what we got from half price books so the first one uh, is flower power i love it these books were dollar to about two dollars each and they were in pretty good condition so i love this one definitely will make this probably for a friend i know what somebody that loves wonder woman and all the other dc super friends and here's one with this adorable pup i like it. and then again good form here so when i look for books i love uh, i have a small collection of children's books that i keep in my little shelf uh, in my room so I like to collect children's books and here's one that's super cute here's one I'm planning to make for my nephew robots robots everywhere again really nice pages here pretty intact and then here's one that'll be perfect for Christmas I just love this and these were like I said dollar dollar uh, 99 maximum and then butterfly kisses And here's Dr. Dan. I love this one. I really like the classic look to it. So here we have some writing, but we can definitely cover that up with a library card. Here are some of the images in there. And these classic Disney classics, I love Lady and the Tramp. There's some writing there, but again, that's easy to cover up. So I'm planning to use some of these uh, for junk journals and the others I will add to my children's book collection. Alice in Wonderland, I'm planning to make this for my daughter Lil. She loves Alice in Wonderland and uh, Rapunzel, so I have to find a Rapunzel book for her. Again, really clean pages. Dr. Seuss just celebrated his birthday on March 2nd, and here's a really nice book. It talks about seahorse, I'm excited to use that another Disney classic here we have Bambi it's so precious the pages are really pretty we have the little mermaid and this one is only showing an episode from the movie so I thought that would be interesting to look at super cute we have another one, and this one's super cute. The biggest, most beautiful Christmas tree. Let's see when it was published. 1985. I thought the images were really cute. 
really nice. And we have Donald Duck. I grew up watching Donald Duck and Bugs Bunny, all these Disney classics, and I thought this was cute for a birthday junk journal. Look how cute he is. This was 1987. We have Noah's Ark, so really cute images here as well. Really pretty good condition. I like this one, the good old days. Look at these kittens. The cover is dirty, but I know I can fix that and dress it up with some lace and maybe some fabric. See, some of the pages are a little bit torn. Most of these golden books I notice um, are stapled. They're not glued, so it's easy to take them apart. I like these, They're super cute. And here's another one that'll be fun for Easter. Peter Cottontail and the Great Mitten Hunt. I love it, so cute. This was uh, published 2000. Look how cute these pages are. Another Disney Little Mermaid, and this time it's the whole story. So this one would be perfect. My daughter Emmy loves Ariel, so I can't wait to put some of her Disney pictures here when we visited when she was two. It's been a while since we've been there. Maybe we can add new memories in the future for that. Here's another favorite of mine, A Precious Moment little book, and it says, Put on a Happy Face. I think that's a song, yeah. And we have a cute little story. Look how adorable that boy is with his puppy. Super cute. Love it. So here's another little golden book. I love the classic look again on this one. It says 49 cents here. Let's see when it was published. Look at that cute mouse. It says 1962. I love these images. Look how pretty she is in that cute kitty cat. Love it. Beautiful book. Very spring themed here. I love this one. The other book I found was this adorable Walt Disney scamp, The Adventures of a Little Puppy. He is so cute. We love dogs and this is so adorable. This one was published 1957. Oh, I love it. So this is definitely going in my collection of books. I love this. So it looks like this is older. When was this published? Let's see. 1962. So this is way older. That's super nice. This is what it looks like. And we have this final book here. I love it. Another addition to my collection of precious moment books. And I love it. It's a wedding theme. A wedding is beautiful. Look how pretty these illustrations are. I love it. Super excited to use these as some of the junk journals and will definitely add some of these to my collection of books. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and this project share here. If you'd like to see more of these golden book junk journals, make sure to comment below. I'd love to hear which books do you guys enjoy to read to your kids or books that you would like for yourself. So make sure to comment. I would like to wish you guys a great day. I hope you are all doing awesome. I'll be back with a new haul sometime soon and more project shares. Thanks again for watching Karamia's Corner. See you next time.